MB One Time, you already know what it is. LaMelo Ball just released his End of Crescent Dreams. You know, his signature MB1 by Puma. We already know we've been documenting this. LaMelo Ball has completely taken over Puma and Puma Hoops. I mean, that's an understatement at this point. Um, it just seems to be a new release after release. It seems to be a never-end saga with these sneakers. You know, these shoes have taken a life of their own. And I, like I said, we stated this before. You know, uh, he's just coming off the, the three-colorway pack. You know, um, and then now he coming with the Indicrest and Dreams. He just coming off the Galaxies. I mean, it, it's just like I said, it's just it's crazy. And every time this sneaker is released, you know, uh, everybody has their favorite. You know, everybody's just in line to pick them up. Like I said, in New York at the Puma store, the big Puma store in New York City. And I'm telling you, Lamelo Ball sets that thing in a frenzy. You know, routinely. You know, uh, this is just the start of something major. You know, I think when we discussing, you know, the top, you know, athletes, you know, with an endorsement deal, with a signature sneaker, you know, and sooner or later, we're going to be discussing LaMelo Ball at that, you know, upper echelon, you know, um, when we discussing, you know, athletes, you know, um, LaMelo Ball, man, what he doing with Puma it is no understatement. I don't think he's getting enough credit. You know, um, and that's what I'm about to start putting out soon. Like LaMelo Ball, this is how you, I don't think anybody has had a rollout like this in a long time when it, when it comes to putting out a sneaker. And I feel like people are trying to, I feel like this sneaker could be bigger than it is. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I go to some of these stores, they don't have them all in stock. You know, online is sold out. It's almost like you're trying to get a damn Xbox or a PlayStation. I mean, this is this is the kind of frenzy that LaMelo Ball is putting the sneaker world into. Is the equivalent of going out right now and trying to get you an Xbox or a PS5 to go pick you up a pair of MB1s. That is the equivalent, you know, what, what LaMelo Ball is doing. So that is power in itself. You're talking about this is his first sneaker. You understand Go, going into his third year, you know, that we ain't even, we don't even know the future of the signature MB1, you know, but if this is any indication, we are, we are set up for a long run, you know, um, of something that we're going to remember for years to come, you know, but this sneaker, man, the MB1 Indo Crescent Dreams, you know, um, it was released on his birthday. You know, back to school. You know, LaMelo always doing something for the kids. Triple B's always doing something for the youth. You know, uh, LaMelo don't get enough credit. You know, uh, even with, the, I believe he had, um, who was it? I, I forgot the name of the shoe that he had, but he had dedicated, he had did something with the, with the courts and everything. Um, I, I don't think that LaMelo gets enough credit for what he did. I believe it was the Queen City, if I'm not mistaken, um, where, they, where he had did something major. You know, LaMelo Ball, you know, uh, and it was something powerful for the youth, you know, and he, he doesn't get enough credit for the things that he's doing, you know, and that's what that's what I get upset about as a Melo fan, as a Triple B fan. You know, we, we always feel like, you know, sometimes you don't get the credit that he deserves, you know, all of them that goes from Lonzo, LaMelo, LiAngelo, LaVar. You know, even to their mom, you know, Tina, you know, uh, they don't get the respect. But here at Flight Sports TV, we're going to give you that respect. And I'm letting you know right now, anybody who clicked on this video, you are in for a treat. You have a review of the Indo Crescent Dreams by Flight Sports TV's own Fresh Prince of Belize. You already know what it is. OG Louie. Y'all better pay the utmost homage. New York City. I see you. You know, um, you could definitely check out Belize on Flight Sports TV, you know, the home of the LaMelo Ball Show. Make sure y'all don't miss that. If you're, if you're a LaMelo Ball fan and you're not subscribed to Flight Sports TV, what the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? It's Flight Sports. All right, guys, we're here again, man. Another MV on one just landed. But before we get into that, man, I just want to just shout out to LaMelo, man. I want to say happy birthday to him. 21 today. He was gifted his Rockefeller chain from Jay-Z. Man, there's a lot of up going on today in the um, ball universe, I would say, right? But again, he did drop some new NBO ones. I do want to get into that. Um, I do want to open it up, make sure I see a reveal. But I just wanted to like let you guys know that this guy is on. He's, he can't be stopped. He, he just can't be stopped. I mean, you calculate how many sneakers he dropped since 
the first one. Puma knew the secret to hold along, right? So, I mean, you guys, y'all tally it up. I mean, since December, we're, we're now going into August. It's about a nine months period, and he done dropped over nine kicks already, you know, and, um, and that's just that. But I do want to tap in real quickly and speak on Puma Marketing. Puma Marketing, man, I just want to say, guys, um, y'all guys can step it up a little bit more. Like, you know, um, the Mellow's giving y'all a lot of work, and, and I don't feel like y'all doing him um, justice because, uh, you know, uh, granted today, again, new release today, NBO ones there was line was wrapped around the corner. All black, it was dope, but um, it wasn't to me a lot of emotion behind it. It was, it was like, to me, it seemed like Puma was just selling um the sneakers off Lamelo alone, like without putting any like real promotion or any backing behind it. To me, and that's like a real disservice. Um, last uh, July, last month, he had dropped uh the UFOs, and he also had dropped the um the lows in red, all white, and all red and white, and then the blue and white. And my take on that was Kick should have dropped those ones when he dropped the UFOs. Those three those three uh, kicks that he dropped, those came out about a week before 4th of July. He, those three uh, kicks that he dropped, those came out about a week before 4th of July. And I felt like that would have been a better wave for going into the 4th of July because... People would have been buying those sneakers to rock it for the 4th of July weekend and all of that. But instead, they, they ended up getting the UFOs. UFOs was cool, but then about two weeks after, three weeks after, he dropped those, the red, white, and blue ones. And it was just like, you know, again, these sneakers are all out there, you know. Um, shout outs to him. Um, and these NBO ones, I'm kind of curious on why he ain't dropped them in kid sizes. He only did them in adult sizes. And again, you know, it's pretty cool, but... You know, let's not let's not um hold you guys up anymore. The new MBO ones just dropped, man. See right here, it's the black hole. I'll call that right there, man. It's the black hole. You know, how we usually do that. Get into this one real quick. Here we go, man. Not from here. We one of one. It's the all black ones here. Love it. Like this right here, man. Looks purple, looks blue, kind of look like kind of greenish. Goes into different colors. It's really, really dope. Um, and I've always been um, stressing this part. Like, you know, um, with the bottom of the shoe, you just don't give me the rare. Like, you know, I just feel like if we would have put that rare on there, it would have uh, definitely made a big, big difference. You know, to me. I mean, not really to the shoe, but I mean the style points for it, you know. Like, I'm going to show you. I got my uh homami oh, man, you know I be nicked out when you know my nicks, shout out to my nicks. But see these ones right here, I had these on a couple of days, so my mommy's still a little dirty, but like that real on the bottom, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like that's all I be trying to get out of them, man. But these ones is dope. I feel like these is definitely uh my new work shoe. Anybody that knows me, they know I can't wait. I be I used to come to work in the bus cities and they used to get upset, like, oh it's too much, you can't wear it, it's too much blue. Gotta be all black, gotta be all black. But uh <laughs> but Melo did justice with this one, so now I could rock these to work. You know, go wear these on the everyday just to throw them out. Just throw them out. Yo, these so comfortable. So if you don't have a pair of Lamellos, I suggest you go grab one, get a half size up. Um they're one of the most comfortable shoe out right now. Um to me at least basketball wise too. Very, very grippy for your for your shoes. You know what I mean? Like um can't go wrong. I'm golden child. So but um, I feel like yeah, these are these are these is a, a winner right here, and um, I ain't gonna hold y'all up too much, man. Shout out to Flight Sports for making this all happen, and uh, you're gonna chime in on the next one, alright? Let's go, NBO one time.